Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Gabriel, just another fan TV. Back at another video. Like the content of this video, go ahead and smash that like button. Like the content of this channel, go ahead and hit subscribe, man. Ravens versus Dolphins. Another Ravens game day morning. Week two is here. Ravens trying to go 2-0 today, man. And that's what's important, right? Um, so, yeah, so I'm still out here at Disney. Uh, yesterday, you know, Magic Kingdom was fun, whatever. A lot of walking. Getting a shoulder today. I can't carry my kid no more, man. It was too hot. Um, no, but seriously, um, I'm going to try to watch the rest of the game as I can today, streaming on my phone, possibly. But um, I probably won't do an instant reaction right after the game today. And be honest with you, I'm going to probably need some more time to review the game again and, and see what happened. But we're going to talk about three keys to victory for the Baltimore Ravens. These three things happen. The Ravens should find themselves coming out of there with a W. All right. First game at the bank. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be live. So. I'm excited, man. Good game overall, all right? Now, key number one, it starts with the Miami Dolphins quarterback. Two with Tonga Valoa. The Ravens have to make him win this game. Now, what does that mean? That means a multitude of things, right? Now, that means this run game that the Dolphins have, you can't let it get off. I said in yesterday's video, the Dolphins had 63 yards rushing last week. Now, we know Mike McDaniel. Come to San Francisco. They like to use a myriad of running backs. They like to run the ball, play action, bootleg, things like that. I would imagine this is the kind of office he wants to run, okay? So, if you could shut down, take down that part of their office, the ground game, and put it onto a shoulder, I like where we are. Now, the Ravens, they let Michael Carter, Brees Hall, kind of get off last week a little bit, you know? That was probably one of the more, under, not underrated, but one of the more disappointing parts of the Ravens-Jets game. It wasn't many disappointing parts, but that was definitely one of them. Michael Carter, Brees, Raw, Brees Hall, excuse me, had too many explosive runs. So, don't make the game easy for Tua. Take these running backs out the game, all right? Now, as far as the passing game goes, we know who they have. Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waddle, obviously, right? Now, these guys are going to get catches. It, you're not going to blank both of these guys. Not asking that. What I am asking for is that Jalen Waddle had three catches for 27 yards, right, versus the Patriots. Then on a the fourth end, I think it was seven. Tua hits him on, hits him across the middle, probably for a ten yard gain. He makes two, or he wiggles between two Patriots. Now it's a forty two yard touchdown. All right, so now that turns into four for sixty nine on a touchdown. Okay, the Ravens cannot let that happen. If they're going to make Tua win this game, it has to be because check down here, good pass here. Nothing can be about the fact that Tua. Through a 10 yard pass, a five yard pass, and we let it get turned into a 70, 80 yard touchdown. That can't happen. All right. So that's a, that's the first key to victory. Make Tua really win this game. Okay. Make it so that, you know, it's on his shoulders. And if that happens, I like, I like the chances of the outcome. Now, two is going to be kind of a similar key to victory as last week. The Ravens are once again going against a decimated offensive line. All right, now, the Dolphins have one outstanding player, Teron Armstead, left tackle. He's probably going to play, if I had to guess. He was listed as questionable. Uh, he participated in practice, I believe, two days ago, so he's probably going to be out there and playing, okay? So that's cool, right? You know, all pro, pro bowl left tackle, Teron Armstead. But on the right side, Austin Jackson, who wasn't a great starter to begin with, is out. He's on IR. So that means he's going to miss the next four games starting today. Now, what the Ravens have to do is take advantage of this offensive line, okay? The, their, their center, sorry, their guard-to-guard guard spot all the way over to the right tackle is not that great, okay? Now you have a backup right tackle in the game. So I need to see Justin Houston or Dafi Owe, whoever's going to be over top of that right tackle, take advantage. Now, even in the guys down the middle, okay, it's going to be more pressure on the guard centers, in the guards in the center to have a better pass blocking, you know? So if we can get one-on-one -on -one matchups, we're talking about Travis Jones is going to have his first game today. All right, excited for that. I don't know how many snacks he'll play, but he, he should be out there. Michael Pierce, Matabike, Calais Campbell. The Ravens actually have a rotation of guys for the first time in a while, okay? And this is good things. This is good news. You got an O-line that's not that good, and you got a team that's actually deep on the defensive line that can rotate guys in and out, okay? So... That's the second key right there. The Ravens must take advantage of this Dolphins offensive line 
and dominate the line of scrimmage, uh, when at least when it comes to passing, like they did versus the uh, the New York Jets. Okay, they made it hard on Joe Flacco. Now, obviously, Tua is not a mobile quarterback, you know, in my estimation, but he's not Joe Flacco. He's not a statue. Um, so he might be a little bit harder to bring down, but I don't think it'll be much difference, honestly. And honestly, with, with the defensive line, too, is Tua is about probably six foot, maybe six one. I don't know, but I think he's about six foot tall. Okay. Get your hands in the passing lane. Bat some of these balls down. Okay. We got guys that's six, three, six, four. Clarence Campbell is six, eight on the defensive line. Get your hands up, bat the ball down. All right. Now, third key to victory. Couldn't leave this video obviously without talking about the offense. We know that that was the big major point last year. What are the Ravens going to do versus zero blitzes? The Miami Dolphins come out here and do it again, right? And this is where I'm gonna take this. It's not. It doesn't even have to even do with the pass game. Surprisingly enough, the Ravens need to be able to run the ball effectively. I know, crazy, right? But no. When J.K. Dobbins possibly being back, obviously he won't, you know, get a full gauntlet of snaps. You know, you'll still see Kendrick, you'll still see Mike Davis, might even still see some Justice Hill. I don't know. But if the Ravens can run the ball, not get behind the chains, they can have much more success than get zero blitz, okay? It's very different when it's third and two versus third and eight, all right? A lot of times in that Dolphins game, besides just starting out slow, the Ravens found themselves behind the chains, okay? Now, you got a team where, hey, it's third and six plus. We can get exotic out here. We can do whatever we want. And a lot of times, you know, people have been correcting and saying that it wasn't exactly zero blitz all the time. It was a zero blitz look. And then guys were dropping out. You didn't know who was dropping out, whether it was going to be the linebacker. They had D tackles dropping out. You know what I mean? Um, so, that's the key. If the Ravens can run the ball effectively, keep this Dolphins defense off balance because they they should not be able to see key in on the pass game. If they can keep this Dolphins defense off balance, run the ball effectively, then get, get the Dolphins defense in situations where they can't always just say, hey, look, we dialing up an exotic defense. You know, that that's going to be a major key to victory, okay? And, you know, Lamar Jackson, um, a year older, a year wiser, Greg Roman, had a chance to review the film like they all did on both sides, you know, Dolphins too. Um, come out with certain adjustments, okay? You know, that's that's what it's going to be. Um, Dolphins are still going to play a lot of man. They're going to probably mix in some zone. So the receivers have to get open, obviously. And Greg Roman has to do a job of scheming these guys open as well, all right? But my, my goal overall for this offense is you have to be able to run the ball effectively and get ahead of the chains, Okay. On first down, if you can get five yards, make it second and five. Second down, you can get another first down or even get four yards, be third and one, third and twos. That's how you're going to win this game. Um, and this is not, I'm not going to say this is a key to victory, but this is just something that's just obvious for the Ravens. Wake up. All right. Wake up. These first quarters, this last year and a half, it's been that long, have been sluggish. Okay. The Ravens in the Lamar Jackson era, when they first started, used to jump out on teams and end the game at halftime, and then they could they could play that slow, methodical football. If that's how y'all want to play, you gotta you gotta score early in the game. All right, so Ravens need to jump out quickly. Enough of these slow starts, and there should be a good game today. All right, so that's the three keys to victory. All right, we're talking about make Tua win this game, put it on his back, eliminate that running game from him. Uh, make sure that when you see us do catch the ball, we're bringing them down. We can't have a five-yard catch turn to 80 yards. Key number two, this decimated uh, Dolphins offensive line has to be taken advantage of. It has to be. You just know there's no other way to put it. There's no way around it, okay? Um, this race had defensive line talent. It's time to see it again, all right? You showed it You showed it in game one. Let's show in game two. And number three, for the offense, for the Ravens offense versus the offense defense, Run the ball effectively and stay ahead of the chains, okay? Make your third downs easy. If you get down into third and six, seven plus, the Dolphins defense is waiting to tee off. They're sending somebody around the corner. He can be coming from anywhere, and that's not the spot the Ravens want to be in. Um, and that's, for me, that's the key to the game. I gave a bonus one about no slow starts, but 
those other three are the main three keys to the game. Let me know what's some keys to the game for you guys in the comments. It's your boy Gabriel, just another fan TV. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.